Sagittarius. It's Chakra Bunny here. Welcome to my space of healing and love. Sacred space of healing and love. I'm sorry that I skipped you. It was not intentional. I totally forgot that I left off. Um, on, oh God, was it Scorpio? And I was going on and I thought I'd already done um, Sagittarius. So I skipped on to Capricorn. Then I realized I didn't do Sagittarius. So it wasn't intentional. I'm very sorry. But we are going to dive right into your reading. Um, this is a timeless read. So whenever you find it, Sagittarius, it's for you. But I will be focusing on the energy of October. Timeline of October, I guess, is what I should say. Um, but it is timeless, so whenever you find it, it's for you. If you hear the whizzing in the background, pay no mind. It's my fan. I'm hot. And we are in spooky months, so once again, I've broken out my Beauty of Horror Tarot. And we're knee-deep in spooky tarot. So, you know, every October, I do spooky tarot. So we always start out with the spooky tarot. And then we move on to, you know, the other decks. So we're reading now for Sagittarius. I'm going to connect my guides and Sagittarius's guides. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's get it on. And my kitty cat. Of course not. He wants to get out. One second. Okay. Sorry about that, Sagittarius. My cat did not want to be in here. He was sleeping, I must have woke him up, and then he was eager to get out and explore. Alright, what do we have for our beautiful fire sign, Sagittarius? So this is a general love reading, it is not a twin flame reading. However, if the twin flame dynamic shows up, I will be sure to let you know, Sagittarius. All right, what is the first cards we have for Sagittarius? Wow, that flew out. So we have two of wands. What are you waiting for? Sagittarius is waiting for something. What it is, we do not know right now. King of Cups. Ooh, so you're looking, you're looking, you're waiting for love. <laughs> you're on the lookout for some kind of love offer. King of Cups is about a love offer. So you're waiting on someone to make a decision in regards to love, Sagittarius. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, but someone is in the Queen of Swords energy. Meaning they're not open and receptive. So, either that's your energy or your person's energy. It's like, there's this feeling of someone waiting for someone to make a move. Like a cup of love, right? The King of Cups is offering a cup of love. Someone's waiting. They're looking out to the horizon, waiting on the offer. And then there's another energy of someone who's very logical and closed off. They're just not in the same energy. Knight of Swords. See? Um, there is the one energy of being ready and another energy of not so ready. So... You guys are not on the same page as of right now, but I see something happening in the future, which is shifts the dynamic. And all of a sudden, this person is eager as much as you are to get things started, but at the same time, they're not open to you. Like they're holding on to their own secrets. They are not willing to open up. Like the Four of Pentacles is about not opening up. But the Knight of Swords is about making forward movement quickly. So this is ridiculous. It's like 
this person wants to move forward, yet they're not opening up at, at all to you emotionally, at all, Sagittarius. See, this person's actions have left you feeling in the cold. Um, or you've left them feeling in the cold. I don't know. Like, your guys' energy is so intertwined, it's really hard to tell. But honestly, this feels like... This feels like you were waiting on something and someone was trying to move forward with you and then <clears throat> one or both of you were closed off. It feels to me, Sagittarius, like you were open and, and wanting to move forward and you came with a cup of love and then this person was just not open. They just weren't ready. You know, the Queen of Swords represents uh, a feminine energy that is just not open. She's not receptive. Um, she tends to use her head over her heart. And then something shifted and they wanted to come towards you. But at the same time, they weren't open. And they were kind of harboring their emotions and holding them in and not communicating well and so this left you feeling really alone and out in the cold nine of pentacles all right why do we have the nine of pentacles here let's go ahead and keep going i mean at the same time though it's really strange because the nine of pentacles is showing me that they still want you. Oh, there it is. Queen of Cups. So, I see everything switching up. It's really crazy. So, it's like, if this is for a divine masculine, right? And you were in this energy of, you opened up and then your counterpart, your feminine was not opening up, right? And she was kind of closed off. I see something switching. The reason I say this is probably for a divine masculine because the first card that came out was the king of cups, right? So this is this energy of, see, we have two masculines here. One looking out on the horizon, open to love. And then we have the divine feminine here. These cards are falling. Who is not open and receptive and, you know, holding on to emotions, but not opening up, you know, with the four of pentacles left you feeling out in the cold. But then we have the nine of nine of pentacles, which shows me that the nine of pentacles is about desire. And so the nine of pentacles shows me that this feminine still wants you. And then she goes into this energy of opening up and being receptive. She goes from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. So this is very strange. Usually I have, usually I'm reading for the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, but this feels very switch, switch flip-flopped. Now the energy could be flip-flopped. You could have, your Divine Masculine was open. And so if it was reversed... It would be your divine masculine was open and you didn't feel ready. And then something switched, you know, and now all of a sudden you're ready, feminine, right? So take it how it resonates. Giving you both role reversals here. So it's not about gender, as I always continue to say. It's always about um, what you resonate with. We have seven of cups, which is, so if somebody feels like there's way too many options, like they're just like, they're not sure what choice to make. <laughs> they're, they're like, one minute they feel ready, the next minute they feel afraid. And this energy is just all over the place. <laughs> oh. Let's go into the light seers, tarot. All right, what else do we get to know about this crazy connection? This feels like an Aquarius read. It's just all over the place. Like <laughs> one minute they're running, the next minute they're running. One minute they're ready, the next minute they're running. It's like they connect and then they run and then they connect and then they run. And it's really ridiculous. <laughs> like what is going on, Sagittarius? 
if this is your energy or your person's energy, it's really sort of shifty and very sort of flighty. And it's not the best energy, to be honest. Like, I don't know why you haven't ran the other way already. I would have. <laughs> Just saying. No judgments. No judgments. King of Wands. So this is your energy, King of Wands. It's fire sign, Sagittarius. So you're in this energy of like, you know what you want. You know what you deserve. And yet there's this feeling of sadness. Five of Cups. This feeling of like, things are not, didn't progress how you wanted. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> this is how you know I'm a good tarot reader because like, I wish like all of my readings were just like fucking cupcakes and rainbows and like really good. And sometimes they're not. And I read the energy of the cards and it's like, I want every fucking read to be like, you're going to fall in love. You're going to be rich. You're going to fucking, you're going to be with your, the, your soulmate or your fucking twin flame. And then you get readings like this and you're like, how the hell do I put a positive spin on this? Uh, seven of swords. See, someone is not being honest here in this connection. There's this energy of manipulation and lies. I don't like that. I think if you're making the decision to walk away, I'm seeing that you are with this Five of Cups energy. I think it's a good thing. I don't think this connection is going to serve you much more. Let's get two cards for some outcome. Why do we have the first? Why do we have the Seven of Swords here? Can we ask that? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why do we have the Seven of Swords? Um, it's telling me that your intuition was telling you that something was not right long time ago. You just didn't listen to it. You just ignored it. Um, the high priestess is about using your intuition. So spirit is saying you already know what this person is being dishonest about, period. Oh, that is not a good thing. Good news is you have something else good coming in. Ace of Wands is a something new. A new relationship, a new um, career move, something new. When the universe takes something away, they always give us something back. There's your new. Why do we have the Ace of Wands? What's new coming in for Sagittarius? Why do we have the Ace of Wands? What's new coming in for Sag? Ten of Wands. So for some of you, it's a feeling of having less responsibility. You're not going to be so burdened down by this. With this Ace of Wands comes a sense of freedom. For some of you, um, you're literally going to be traveling or moving away from this situation. This card just popped out. Oh, look at that. So you're going to be working really hard at a new project that um is going to flourish this is the eight of pentacles it's the card of perfecting your work right so while this five of cups energy is here of like you had to let something go you still have all of these other cups to look forward to right you have all these other cups to look forward to Don't focus too much on that one cup that didn't work out. So we got one last card, final outcome for Sagittarius for October in regards to this connection. What's next for Sag? See, look, it's over. There's the tower. There is confirmation. Something is definitely ending for you, Sagittarius, okay? So... Trust the process. I'm sorry. I wish I had better news in regards to your love life. But I feel like something at this point is is ending um, in regards to your love life. Unfortunately. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the Gypsy Witch. 
you know, unfortunately the tower is represents sudden endings, which can shake us to the core and which, you know, sometimes don't always feel great, but in the end, it is what we need. And look, in replace of that, you have your career is going to be thriving. You have money coming in. Okay. So the universe is, might be taking away something in your love life, but you're going to have a, a ton of financial abundance to sort of soften the blow. Isn't that how it works? Why can't we just have everything all at once? Why can't we have the money, the love, the home? Like, why do they to take something away in order to give us something? That's complete and utter bullshit if you ask me. Just saying. Wow, you might have a new connection coming in. We have desire. See? So this is this could be like desire for something else, a desire for a new job, whatever. But it, there's a female here. So it feels like you have someone desiring you, Sagittarius. Look at that, Ecclesiastic. Um, this represents spirituality. You know, there's a priest on there. It could represent, too, that someone has thought long and hard about you as marriage material. So, you know, this connection that might not, is not working out, it feels like there's a better connection coming in. And this person has thought about having a life with you. Oh, I just said it. See, you can't make it up. There is marriage. Oh my God, I told you, I felt like I was on the right track. You can't make it up. There is someone else here, a feminine, that is desiring you. And they've been holding on to these feelings for quite a while. And look, they definitely see you as marriage material. So whatever connection is ending, let it go. Time to let it go. Time to move on to bigger and better. Just saying. Oh, gracious me. All right. I don't know. I mean, it could be the breakup of a marriage too. I don't know if some of you are in a connection that where you are married. Um, it could be that you desire something else or they desire something else. I don't know. Like there's two different storylines that are coming out. So take it how it resonates. I'm going to pull three final cards and we're going to be done with this reading. <laughs> this reading is too much for me. Energetically, mm, nope. This is not where it's at today, Sag. <laughs> I love you guys, but no. Do not like this energy at all. Shaman. We have ancient healing wisdom. So some of you are um learning how to do shaman healing shamanic healing or you have native american roots this will be your confirmation if you're learning a type of shamanic practice or you know that your ancestors are um, indigenous native american then this reading is for you look we have fire and passion see there's something better there's something that's going to stoke, stroke, and fuel that fiery Sagittarius passion. You just have to trust the journey and let go of what is holding you back. Whatever relationship is, is going on right now, it's not good for you. It needs to be let go. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. That's what it feels like. We have green man synergy. So this new connection that is coming in, it's going to be more suited to you because both of you share a similar energy. There's a synergy. So you guys might already know each other. You guys might work together, right? You might, um, there's an energy of like collaboration. Like you guys work together somehow. It might not be like at work. But there's an energy of like you guys have worked together on things, okay? So you know that you work well with this person. It's synergy is about working together to achieve things for the greater good, right? It's working together to help humanity. It's like a 
universal type energy which benefits both of you but also benefits humanity all right and then we have music harmony so that's another confirmation if your person is musically inclined or you might be musically incli inclined you might be a musician your person might be, be a musician or they maybe they sing or maybe both of you sing um, that's how you'll know this reading is for you because it'll resonate in some way shape or form all right that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. I wish I had better news, but out with the old and in with the new, you have another better connection coming in, which is more suited to the growth of your soul. I love you so much. If anything that I said resonated, please consider um, smashing the like button and sharing and subscribing. They're all free and they really help me to get into the algorithm so more people can find me that are like-minded like us. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, just go ahead and click in the description box below my video and click on the goal of the appointment fix and that will book your reading with me. I love you so much, Sagittarius. Until next time, bye-bye.